Hi there, it's Jeff, and uh, this is the second part of the video uh, where I, I replaced a pitch servo and a Phantom 2 Vision. In my previous video, I was able to make it work, but it was reversed, and I had to order this high-tech uh, servo programmer. The servo is uh, digital, and I had to uh, do a little bit of programming on it and make it uh, reverse direction upon which way the phantom was tilting and for demonstration purposes um, this is the high-tech servo programmer you know plugs into the computer uh, with a USB cord and it requires a battery input and I didn't have just a four AA batteries powering this as well as it plugs into a USB port and then you plug your your uh, servo into either one of these bottom two ports doesn't matter which one and you can test servos with this programmer as well as program the high-tech servos and I reversed the uh, servo which was a uh, high-tech here it is high-tech HS 5055MG and once I reversed it the servo in the Phantom 2 Vision uh, pitched the proper direction uh, when, this, when the uh, Phantom tilted forward or backwards in, in flight. And basically, this is it. I have the servo in there. It's installed. And I need to do a better job hiding these wires down here. I still have them hanging out in case I needed to do some more programming on the servo. But this is it. Notice the quiet operation. Even when it sits here, all by itself, I'll move the camera a little closer, you hear a little bit of a whine from the fan that's on the transmitter and the camera. But other than that, you do not hear the typical servo whine from the original OEM servo. You may hear it in the background because I have my other fan running behind me for comparison purposes. It's actually pretty fast. We'll set this one aside. And here's my other Phantom 2 Vision. And I have a rubber band on here holding on the lens cap. And that's one thing DJI needs to do better is uh, have a lens cap that stays on. They fall off really easy. Move the camera a little closer here. Hear that servo whine? Yeah, they're real common for that. Look how noisy it is. And it's slow compared to the high tech. That's pretty much it. Let's see if we can do a side-by-side -side comparison here. I don't know if the camera's picking both those up or not. Oh yeah, I can see a huge difference. The high-tech is dramatically faster than the OEM servo that the camera comes with. So basically all you need to make this work, enclosure here, all you need to make this work is a high-tech HS5055MG, it's a digital servo. I got this off of, uh, oh I got this from A-Main and it was like $18. A digital programmer from high-tech, unplug these wires here. You need this to reverse the high-tech servo and I had to do a little bit of custom fabrication to make the servo fit into 
this bracket that the whole camera fits on. But right there, it looks really good. I spent some time, a lot of time, making that fit in there to make it look just lickety split. I'm pretty pleased with this fix. And for these two items here, I have roughly $40 invested to fix the camera pitch servo. And if you was to order that servo from DJI, well, you can't. You have to order the entire camera and the bracket, which comes with the servo, and it'll cost you about $500. I fixed it for 40 bucks. One last thing I wanted to demonstrate here is the camera control on the servo. And as you can see, it's straightforward. I'm going to pitch it down with the camera control on my smartphone. That's all the way down. Notice how quiet that is. This is my first Phantom. I'm going to pitch the camera down with my smartphone. It's noisy. I also noticed that it's not real smooth. It almost has kind of a jerking motion to it compared to the high tech. These Phantoms, uh, I use them for aerial photography, and I'm also involved with Pix4D in Switzerland in testing out some aerial mapping, uh, creating 3D imagery of the Earth, and I'm helping them test that out on my own time. I'm looking to uh, do more of that in the future when it uh, warms up. Right now, we're still in the dead of winter, and it's very cold outside. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.